Apple has finally revealed the iPhone 14, and pre-orders have been so successful that the delivery date is well into October if you haven't already placed your order. Perhaps you'd be better off waiting for the iPhone 15 if Apple's newest and greatest doesn't pique your interest. Compared to last year's regular iPhone, Apple's Pro models of the iPhone 14 are a significant upgrade this year. Apple's new Dynamic Island notch and A16 Bionic chip were reserved for the Pro models and the display received a significant upgrade. Crash detection and emergency SOS through satellite connectivity were added to all iPhone 14 models as part of the company's renewed emphasis on safety features. When it comes to the iPhone 15, very little information is available at this time. A USB-C charging port and a new periscope camera with improved zoom capabilities have been rumored for some time now and we can already start to piece together what the iPhone 15 will look like, when it will arrive, and how much it will cost in 2023. iPhone 15 Possible Release Date this is the most solidified of all the early rumors about the iPhone 15. October 2020, during a once-in-a-generation pandemic that required stay-at-home orders and disrupted tech chain supplies, was the only time in the last decade that Apple announced its new flagship smartphones outside of September. For this reason, September 2023 seems like a likely release month for the iPhone 15, Apple typically announces new iPhones around 10 days before they become available for sale, with pre-orders beginning a week beforehand. iPhone 15 Price Speculation Strong speculation abounded that we would see a 15% price increase with the Apple 14, but this turned out to be incorrect if you reside in the United States. While prices rose significantly in some countries, the United States saw no change aside from the discontinuation of the entry-level mini version. The lowest-priced iPhone 14 model comes in at $799 for 128GB, and the most expensive iPhone 14 Pro Max can be had for $1,599. We anticipate a similar outcome this time around, though Apple may finally give the United States the price increase it deserves with the iPhone 15's release. If this is the case, you can count on a $100 price hike. iPhone 15 Possible Models Apple discontinued the iPhone mini and replaced it with the larger iPhone 14 Plus. That narrowed the options down to a 6.1 or 6.7 inch screen, depending on whether you want the Pro features or not. Expect this to carry on well into next year. Within a matter of months, it became abundantly clear that the iPhone 12 mini was not selling well, but Apple was compelled to press ahead with the iPhone 13 mini due to unavoidable commitments. In other words, even if the iPhone 14 Plus is a massive flop, next year's lineup will likely look very similar to this year's. The iPhone 15, the iPhone 15 Plus, the iPhone 15 Pro, and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. iPhone 15 Camera There has been widespread speculation that the iPhone 15 will feature a brand new camera from the beginning. Rumor has it that the iPhone 15 Following in the footsteps of the iPhone 14 Pro models, which increased the megapixels bar to 48 MP, will feature a periscope camera for improved long-range photography and zoom capabilities. This is a feature offered by many of the Android phones on our best camera phones list, and it would be fantastic if Apple implemented it as well. To be honest, we'd be shocked if this didn't launch as a pro-exclusive feature in 2023. Analyst Ming-Chi Kuo believes that Apple will differentiate its pro models from the rest of the lineup with special features. Apple may be hoping to increase sales of its larger 6.7-inch handsets by emphasizing these features. Speculation has been left open as what these could be, but a periscope camera could be a feature exclusive to the iPhone 15 Pro Max that is meant to drive up its price. iPhone 15 Processor 
While it's still early, two rumors have begun to circulate. One seems highly probable, while the other may still be wishful thinking. To begin with the likely, it would have seemed certain that Apple would adopt the A17 chipset in this year's iPhone. However, this year, only the iPhone 14 Pro received a brand new chipset, while the standard model used a slightly enhanced version of the A15. Assuming this is the new norm, Apple may only equip the iPhone 15 Pro with the A17, while the standard iPhone 15 received an improved version of the A16. However, the A17 is anticipated to be the first chip to be produced using the 3 newton meter manufacturing process, which could have significant implications for both speed and efficiency. iPhone 15 Outlook it's still very early for rumors about the iPhone 15, but nobody's ever gone broke betting on Apple. The addition of usb -D may sway skeptics, and the performance improvements brought on by the 3 newton meter A17 chip may further extend Apple's lead over the fastest Android phones. While we're concerned about the possibility of an increase in price and would like to hear more solid rumors about improvements to the camera, we still have a year until the release of the iPhone 15, so there's plenty of time for more interesting speculation to emerge. So this concludes our video for today. We hope you liked it. If you did, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe to our Gadgets Friendly channel, Gadgets Time.